Welcome to Quick Tips, where I take just two minutes to walk you through tips and tricks for photography and video. And today our topic will be how to work with proxy files in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you haven't seen the last video, five tips to get the best out of your A6400, I would encourage you to go back and watch that video as I walk you through how to enable proxy recording on the A6400. Now, there are other Sony cameras that have the same capability and the following instructions will work for all those cameras as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. What you're looking at here on the left hand side is the SD card that came out of the A6400. So just like always, you're going to see this file structure here and your videos will always be stored in the private folder. So you'll click private, you go to M4 root and these two folders here, the clip folder and the subfolder are the folders that we're going to be focusing on. Now the clip folder is going to contain all of your 4k files. And the subfolder here is going to contain all of your proxy files. So what we want to do is copy your 4K files to a separate drive that you're going to edit on. And because uh, we, we don't want to edit off of your SD card, that would be really slow. We also want to copy your proxy files as well. So what you're looking at over here is an SSD that I have connected. Uh, to my computer and we want to again put the 4k files in this folder and the proxy files in this folder i've created these folders ahead of time to save time so to start we're going to go to our clip folder here and i'm going to select the last no the, let's do 157 i'm going to select this clip here i'm going to drag it into my 4k folder so that went into my 4k folder and now we want to put uh, our proxy file uh, that corresponds with this 4k footage in the proxy folder so we'll go back over to sub and these file names are going to be the same except for in this case the last two digits are different so it's file c0157 and then we have the 03 at the end this is going to help you correspond or uh, make sure you're keeping the correct files together so i'm going to bring this proxy file over and i'll drop it in my proxy folder and we'll check it's in there that's a proxy file and my 4k that's in that folder so now we'll go over to premiere i've already set up a sequence here or a a, a new space to work in so i'm going to go ahead and create a folder we'll name this 4k all right i'll open this up and then what we'll do is we'll navigate back to our folder where we put our things in i am going to bring just the 4k footage over so i'll drag that in the media there and let's go ahead and play it it plays so we know it works we can scrub through and as you can see it takes a little bit of time there that's because this file is pretty large now if you have a newer computer you might not have um, that issue but we see that this may be an issue for us so this is why we need proxy files so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drag this file into the timeline and we see that it plays fine here all right so now we're playing and this is what you're looking at is the actual 4k file that we uh, just put in the folder now if you're getting glitchy playback playbacks this is where the proxies come in so we'll navigate back over to where our file is we'll right click on the actual file and what we're looking for is proxy right here now when you open up proxy you're going to have several options the first option is going to be create proxies what this will do is if you click on this Premiere or Adobe will actually open up media encoder and it will create proxy files from the 4k file that we already have selected in here but since we've already created proxy files with a6400 this is going to save us time and this is the real beauty of proxies now it saves us a lot of time and it makes it a lot easier to work with larger files so what we're going to do is we're going to attach proxies and what this will do is it will allow us to navigate to where our proxy files are and we can connect those to our current 4k footage so we'll click attach proxies and this is asking us is this the file that you want to attach proxies to and we're going to go yes attach so once we click attach we see the folder here and we want to click on our proxy folder and here is our file so we'll click that we'll click ok now it has synced our proxy file with our 4k but now if you look we're still looking at a 4k picture here and the reason why is because we have to enable proxies. So what we'll do is this little button down here that says toggle proxies. When, it, when you click it and it turns blue, we're now working with a proxy file. Now, if you don't have this button here for some reason in Premiere, what you wanna do is go over here to this plus symbol here, which is the bu button editor. 
you click that you'll get a list of all of the available buttons here and you're looking for this one here that looks like a little recycle symbol that is your uh, proxy button you'll just take that and drag it down all right since we already have that in here though and it's activated if we click play we can now play everything in full resolution without there being a bunch of hiccups and things like that so if we turn off the proxy now we're looking at 4k again so you can see as we click it the actual quality changes as we do that so that in a nutshell folks is how proxies work in adobe premiere pro uh, i hope this was beneficial to you and i hope it sped up your workflow so go ahead and click the subscribe button to be notified from our tips like this there's much much more coming so thank you for watching and i highlight y'all later i'm out peace